This lovely ebony veneered table clock, which stands just 12 inches high, was made between 1685 and 1690 by Joseph Nibb, who was one of England's greatest clockmakers. Joseph's table clocks developed as he gained experience, and they may be classified into three different periods or phases, phases one, two, and three. And this particular clock is a quintessential example from his phase three period. Of the many features that make Joseph Nibb's clocks so desirable to collectors, perhaps the most defining is that his cases are invariably recognisable. His phase three cases were made with flat bases, i.e. the base never had any bun feet or block feet of any form. And this is a feature unique to Nibb's phase three clocks. The quarter repeat facility was for night use beside the bed, and on waking in the middle of the night, the occupant only had to reach out and push the bar to be told the time to the nearest quarter hour via two bells of different tone. One or two other makers, such as Henry Jones, used the repeat bar, which was perhaps thought to be more sturdy than pulling on a piece of string. Another feature worth noting on Joseph's phase three cases is the cherub head swivel escutcheon. This is an aesthetic feature unique to Nib's cases, but for access, the escutcheon is merely unclipped and swiveled to one side to reveal the keyhole. The opposing escutcheon was purely for balance, but note that the two cherub's heads face one another so as to form a pair. Joseph Nibb's movements are very distinctive for their beautiful, delicate, almost feminine touches. This particular movement reflects these qualities perfectly. The five latched vase-shaped pillars lend the movement an architectural symmetry, and they hold together the almost paper-thin front and back plates. Note also the slender fusees and the fine backcock for the verge escapement. Lastly, we should just touch on the exquisite backplate engraving so typical of Nibs clocks, with symmetrical foliage and tulip heads and the arched, lovely flowing signature in the centre for Joseph Nib, Londini Fated. <laughs>